panel inserts is a big one, is a big plus for a, the choice of a Styromax panel. Um, a lot of this is off our own tooling. Uh, we manufacture this ourselves. Um, the range is growing every year. We've probably got about six or seven different types. Um, if we've got a PVC range, fiberglass pultruded range, uh, steel plates is another big thing that we put inside panels uh, to, for hinge mounting, for awning mounting, TV mounts, bike racks, you name it. So they can vary in sizes. Uh, timber is another big one that we put inside panels. Um, some of this timber strips here are specifically manufactured by us. Uh, so we get it cut and stripped into certain specific sizes that will go inside the panel. Uh, we also get special timber machined down and manufactured to suit the core thickness, so that's a big one as well. Styro Conduit Single by Styromax is our smallest conduit in the range. It's PVC and it measures 16 by 12 millimetres and it's perfect to use in our Styro RVRG range uh, for running small wiring through your walls or through your roof panel. Styro Conduit Triple is the uh, bigger brother in the PVC range to Styro Conduit Small. Uh, we developed this one uh, a few years ago with uh, three ports uh, inside of it and uh, this was to separate low voltage and high voltage cabling. So this is commonly used in a roof panel of an RV. Styro Conduit Small is the smallest uh, in our fiberglass pultruded range. Uh, it measures 20 mil by 25 mil. Um, the reason why we did this one was to give you a bit more core sizing for some bigger cabling. Um, but being only 20 mil thick, typically in the RV panel, it leaves about 5 mil of styrene for a little bit of insulated, insulated properties. And it also sort of guarantees us we can sort of lock this uh, much more efficiently with inside the panel during the lamination process. Styro Conduit Large is the big brother to Styro Conduit Small in our fiberglass pultruded range. It measures 40 mil by 20 mil, so it gives you uh, some even more space inside the cavity there to run wiring. This one's generally run up rear walls um, to power tail lights or the like. Um, it's also commonly used uh, in cross running in roof panels in RVs as well. Styro Beam LT is uh, moving into the heavier range now. This one measures 45 by 25. This one is typically used for bracing of uh, AC hole cutouts in roof panels in RVs. Styro Beam RG is a serious uh, pultruded beam. Uh, this one features a centre pillar. Now this one's typically used for uh, industry wall panels in truck bodies uh, to give them some extra strength. Styro Beam XHD is the biggest in our range. Measuring 50 mil by 35 mil, this is a serious bit of pultruded beam. This is used in thicker panels, uh, typically expedition vehicles might use these or refrigerated truck bodies again. So this is a heavy duty beam. It will not fit any of the uh, RV or trailer range of panel. Okay, styro question time. Can I run wiring through my walls and roof with my Styromax panels and of course with the use of Styro Conduit and Styro Beam, the answer is yes. You can start with the PVC range that we have or you can move into the fiberglass pultruded range. They all vary and allow different amounts of wiring through. In some roof panels that we've done in the past, we've had a whole range of conduits inside the panel along with conduit triples or perhaps even the single branching off the same conduit small. Now that's all bonded in place and then cavities are drilled in the panel to open up those cavities to get the wiring through. Frequently asked question here at Styromax is, can I interlink my conduits? Well, the answer is yes, you can, uh, but they don't interlock. So uh, I'll give you, show you a quick video on uh, how that takes place. Okay, so here's a typical uh, composite panel, not bonded so we can pull it apart. So there's the core, 
we would typically, if you wanted to have, say, a, uh, a cross intersection, we'd machine uh, the styrene to suit uh, the one piece going across, and for the next two pieces going sideways, they could then be machined into the styrene like so. And of course, each end will have to be sealed, uh, which we do here in a process um, to prevent uh, glue entering the conduit during the uh, lamination process. But of course, once that's all bonded together, then over at the CNC routers, you can then cut a hole into the panel, which of course opens up all intersection points. Okay, styro question time. I am using 29 mil panel, either be it styro RV or styro trailer. What conduits can I use in that panel? Well. Uh, the thickness of your panel, yeah, does restrict uh, what you can and can't put within the panel. You can certainly put a conduit single inside a 25mm core, that will fit. The triple, that will fit. You can use the conduit small, 20 by 25 that will fit one way. Or you can tip it on its side and use the other way. Conduit large, the 40 by 20 you can only lay that flat. That will not work if you put it on its edge, it's, uh, it's too high for the styrene core. Or you can also use Styro Beam LT. Again, that can only be flat, can't be tipped over because it's too high. I'll skip RG, Styro Beam XHD, you cannot use it all, it is too big. You'll require a thicker core to use that beam.